Is this impractical? Yes. Is it kind of ridiculous? Yes. Do I like it? Oh yes. All right, I have an absurd amount of old office PCs. An amount that dare I even say is redonkulous. There's a few that I use every day, but others, others are severely limited in the type of GPU that they can accommodate, usually due to a complete lack of PCIe connectors. Sometimes I'm able to upgrade the power supply using adapters, but the proprietary connectors that many of these boards use sometimes makes that difficult or impossible. And when things get impossible, we're known to get a little crazy. Now this, this is a 1200 watt power supply and what's known as a breakout board. Typically these are used for running a bunch of GPUs at once, usually for crypto mining. Honestly, I've never done that and I know almost nothing about it, but when I first came across one of these, I saw a potential solution for my issue, and more importantly, a potential weird computer project. Before we dig in any further, it's worth noting that I got the 1200 watt power supply for $20, and the breakout board was only $10, complete with a bunch of wires to go with it. And there seemed to be a bunch of them for that price, so not a terribly expensive experiment. Now it's also worth noting that the reason these are so available and so cheap is probably because they've been used for crypto mining, which means they've probably been utilized pretty heavily which will affect what kind of shape they're in. But that's always something to keep in mind when buying any kind of used equipment. Now, if you had just one GPU to power, it might be more practical to use something that some viewers have brought to my attention in the comments. Apparently, they make these kind of external power supplies. I don't have one, but they look similar to this. They look kind of like your standard external power supply, just like this, but instead of having an OEM connector, they have an 8-pin connector, which I, again, I haven't tried it, but it seems like you could use that to power a GPU. But from what I've seen, the price is usually around $20 to $30, so about the same as what we're trying with the breakout board. I'll likely look into those more in the future, as they do seem pretty neat, though not quite as crazy. And we like to get a little crazy. We like to get a little crazy. Though I must note that nothing I'm doing is close to professional, and you probably shouldn't try any of this or attempt anything you ever see me do. Don't be like me. All right, let's start breaking down what we're actually doing here. I've got an old Elite Desk 800 G2. It's DDR4 RAM, i7-6700. It only costs like $80, complete with CPU, RAM, and everything else. But as mentioned, OEM power supply with no PCIe connectors. And I actually also, it's worth noting, I I have some power supply adapters that would allow me to install a new power supply in this, but for the sake of the video, we're just getting a little crazy with it using one of these, trying to use one of these breakout boards. Now that old Elite Desk has a 280 watt power supply, I think, but I want to test uh, a kind of a variety of use cases, so I also want to try the same thing with this ProDesk 400 G3. Uh, this is the small form factor as opposed to the Elite Desk, which is the micro tower model. And because it's small form factor, it has a weaker power supply, which we'll have to get a little creative and use a riser cable or something like that for testing purposes. Now, I'm about to say something a little blasphemous, but we need more space than chair desk can provide. But don't panic. Like like a phoenix from the ashes, chair desk will return. For now, we're going to have to settle with floor desk. Okay, so I think I have most everything laid out here. I'm actually going to try to run two GPUs in two different computers at once off this breakout board and save the time of testing one, then the other, then trying them both together at once. If it doesn't work, we'll scramble and try something else. I'm not even, I'm not totally sure it'll work at all, but everything's generally laid out, and as you can see, the GPUs are connected just like they typically 
basically would be in the micro tower I was able to insert it just like you typically would into the PCIe slot and then because the stock power supply doesn't have that connector for the GPU I'm running the PCIe connector from the breakout board into the GPU and a similar setup over here with the 400 G3 except the only difference is I, I'm using a riser cable since it doesn't actually fit in the case. And I'm gonna try to run all this at once and see what happens. So I'll go ahead and power on this extra power supply with the breakout board first. Then I'll boot up the two computers. We'll, we'll see what happens. Okay, so everything should be plugged in and ready to rock, at least in a crude and kind of ridiculous fashion. Though if it does pan out, it will be interesting to try to make some kind of setup where I can utilize all this in a way that's actually organized and not just strewn all over the floor. But for now, we're just seeing what we can do. All right, so I'm gonna start plugging everything in. We're gonna start with powering on the 1200 watt power supply then I'll turn on both the computers hopefully nothing too crazy happens we want just the just the proper level of craziness here what a beautiful mess now I'm not going to do anything too crazy but I do want to stress test it just a little bit so I'm going to try to on one of the machines have like a bunch of YouTube videos playing and then on another the other machine I'm going to play a game maybe like Fallout 4 or something just because that's what I have downloaded on there I'm downloading the drivers for one of these computers for the 400 G3 I didn't think this through super well well because I'm actually running off a 3.5 inch HDD on that computer so that's definitely gonna throttle the performance anyways but mostly it was about testing out to see if and how this would work could potentially make for a pretty sweet setup if I kind of planned ahead of time and planned around this device everything just keeps coming up off this PC why do a custom computer build when you can grab an office this PC and have this kind of a glorious setup. Of course, if you use an HDD when you should use an SSD, you're going to have a bad time. Especially considering the 400 G3 actually does have an M2 slot. It's just the lack of foresight on my part. Really, I need to start offloading some of these computers and not doing whatever it is I'm doing here. This is more fun, though. Okay, so we have a couple YouTube videos playing from some client. Down. Got two videos playing at 4k and I'm also playing some Fallout 4. I know it's not the most hardcore test But I just generally want to see if there's any like power loss unexpected shutdown any problems along those lines Since we're generally just testing the functionality of this setup and so far everything is just perfectly fine No serious desire to smack anything with a pool noodle. Okay. Well the the desire to smack things with a pool noodle is there, but no justification to smack anything with a pool noodle. Not too shabby. And one other random thing to mention, nothing's getting like, especially hot or anything like that. Just to the touch, everything seems like it's at the proper temperature, which that's kind of a concern when I'm just wiring all this random crap together without having done it before. Doesn't seem like anything hazardous is going on. Overall, that was a pretty fun project and I'll be interested to see what we can do with it in the future. But for now, I bid you adieu. Thanks for watching.